great outdoors Forever free Righto, people, here we go. This is going to be a great episode. As you can see in the background, I'm working on the 200 today, and we've got the rear bar off it because we're going to fit two Kmar dual swingaways. Uh, one will be for the spare wheel on this side, and the other one will be for uh, the outboard motor for the tinny on the roof. So, I've, uh, as you can see, stuff everywhere. I've um, pulled the rear bar off i've started fitting one of the, the swing away so i just wanted to show you sort of uh, what's happened at the start but I'll, I'll break it down bit by bit um as we're we're going along because i've done some searching on youtube and i couldn't find anything about fitting one of these or both these swing aways um by yourself so yeah i thought i'd um do a good sort of detail as to uh what i've done and um and yeah, any sort of hints and tips I can do um, along the way. So yeah. So starting off, um, on the uh, the Kmar website, there's uh, a whole heap of um, sort of PDFs that you can print off um, for fitting like a rear bar, um, swingaways with like the normal plastic bumper and all sorts of stuff. So I've printed them all off. I've had been having a good read before I started pulling things apart. Nothing really in there that's um, sort of, you can't really understand, but um, I'm just gonna follow it, you know, bit by bit and keep checking measurements and stuff like that along the way, just to um, make sure that it's sort of sticking to the plan, I guess, and not try to skip a step because you're, you're thinking you're doing it a bit quicker. One of the first things I did was um, was remove the, the, the rear bar. So a few little things that um, I sort of come across, one um, was the, the mud flaps. They had quite a few little screws all the way around here and uh, and in the bottom of this plastic um, sort of little splash guard that's up underneath the back. Also a, a row along the um, sort of underside of the tailgate. Everywhere you sort of look, there was you know a, a little a little bolt or a little screw. It wasn't too hard to. Just take your time and um, and get that rear bar off. I just sat it to the side, and later on there is um, some cutting to do all through here for the um, for the swing away arm. So got that sitting there at the minute, but I'm going to move it out of the way to uh, to just worry about putting these up at the minute, the swing away pieces, and um, and just making sure that. The locking area and all that sort of stuff is working before I, I cut away that the rear bar. So these are the kind of um, sort of bolts, I guess, screws that you um, get out of the rear bar. They're a 10 mil socket, got sort of a coarse thread because they go into a lot of plastic. Um, some of them are a, a torque bit, sort of star style for the um, the mud flaps. So yeah, you need a little little torque bit like that or star bit whatever you want to call it um 10 millers and that should pretty much get the rear bar uh off the car so i'm on the passenger side here there is a um a tow hitch or tow towing point type thing there that you've got to remove so these um these bolts go up into part of the the swing away that this oval shaped part of the chassis is where the the main Kmar bracket sort of slips into it uh it's pretty sort of firm tight heading into there um but that's that's where it goes the first uh thing in the Kmar instructions is that apparently some of the 200 series bodies are not quite central on the chassis believe it or not so there is a measurement from from here to i think to the edge of the um the tailgate and, and that's supposed to be even each side. You can see it on the instructions, but the measurement, um, sort of what, what they show, it's not really that accurate. So I'm just sort of gonna run from up here to there. I'm gonna take a few other measurements and just see 
sort of uh, making sure that the body is uh, is right to the chassis. I hope that camera's in a pretty good spot. So I'm just going to put my steel rule straight up from there and and measure from here out to the edge of the tailgate. That's sort of how it depicts um, on the KMAR uh, instructions. So I've got 90, 97 sort of there, right out to that edge. So I'll, I'll check the other side and just make sure that um, it's, it's uh, square. So I just checked um, from side to side, 72 mil I've got from, um, from here to the, uh, the edge of the, the tailgate. I checked a couple of other measurements just sort of from here to here. The body's a little bit different from side to side with this, these pressings and stuff. So I guess I'm pretty happy that that it's um, that the body is in the right position on the chassis. So I've just got that sitting in there. Um, there's a, a nut right in the end there that you you got to do up in the end once you get this in the right spot. You can see the the spacer that I've got in underneath that plate there and the bolts have just started. So I'm not sure, you know, if we've got to do any adjusting or anything on this, but I'll just nip it up and then I'll have a look at the other side. We've got the um, the first bracket into the, the, the rear bar area here and also on the driver's side. So I'm going back through my instructions. I probably skipped a few pages. Um, the first part, it, it mentions about cutting the plastic bar I'll sort of I think I'll get to that it's off the car at the minute so now I'm just sort of concentrating on uh, if these are in the right location to these other brackets that are supplied um, and that's for the the lock or the latch that goes on these slip over the rear bar area here but the location of them pretty tight sort of fitting the location of these there's a measurement from the center of the bolt hole out to this um, outside arm. So I'm just going through the pages here. I will um, get to that in a sec. So what's it got here? Um, 425 mil from the inside of the plate to the center of this hole. And that should set the location or very close for the, um, the, the, the latch that goes on here and then the arm lock that locks it all together. So I'll look at those now, just start going through this, reading all the instructions, and I will uh, put both of these roughly in the, the right spot and, um, and put the bolts down the back and, uh, and just nip those up as well. Just sort of uh, working through the process. To fit this um, bracket here for the catch, there's some two, probably the M12 or M10 bolts. There's also um, some little bits of uh, pipe that go in the back there as well just to space it out. So I will um, slip them in the back there, put the bolts and nuts through. And again, I'm just gonna nip those up, making sure that 425 um, is right. I just went from the edge of the plate there to the front of the hole here, just on the angle. I, I think that's it's um, pretty close, yeah. And the bolts in underneath, and as you can see, the, the little um, tab here is home onto the uh, the, the chassis of the car. I've got the um, the catch bracket on, but what I've found is that, see in the bottom there, there's a little, um, the little bracket of the car is touching the catch bracket, and I can't achieve that 425 measurement. It's probably around 430, so maybe that this needs a little grind or something like that. Um, I'm gonna get it all the way up to that um, that little weld there and, and nip it up and do some other measuring and just see, but at the minute, it's uh, measuring from on the angle. You can see it's uh, 430 or, or, or pretty close. Yeah, so um, it's right on the money, but it doesn't affect the other side. The other bracket is, is quite a distance away. And I checked that side, so I'll check it out. So I've got the driver um, swing away folded onto this um, big silver bracket. I tightened the, um, the wedge nut up in there. I got this little uh, lug home. The bottom one has a little gap. I'm not sure. It, it couldn't sort of go in and under anymore. 
um, because these bolts here in the slots were sort of bottomed out. So I've got this on, I've got nipped up two bolts and in the instructions it says to make sure that this is level with the bottom of the tailgate. So in under there, you can sort of just see it's very, very close. Um, it, it might be just within a couple of mil hanging down. So that might be that lug. If I can push that in, it'll tip this this arm up and I might be able to get level. So I'll just play around with this a little bit more and, and see if I can get it right. So I was lucky enough to have a big clamp line around. I just got it in uh, one of those little brackets here and on the outside, loosen this middle wedge nut and, um, and put a bit of crank on that. It's definitely, um, you know, lifted the, um, this arm up a little bit. It's tip, making it tip. So now I'll just keep this pressure on it, redo everything back up again and, and see if it holds. So when I mentioned before about um, the distance, but you know, 425 from here to here. So I put the, the locking latch on and you can definitely see that it needs to come over five mil. So you can see on the bracket here, that little, that little dent, um, that's where it's hitting the weld up under here. So I'm just gonna take um, a little bit off this corner here and try and get in there with my grinder and, and knock that bit of weld back Hopefully I can get it over. You can see there where I've sort of been trying to knock it over, but it's all a bit tight. So I'll take that edge off and I should be able to get it over three, four mil and achieve a bit closer. There you go, as you can see, I've uh, just ground that edge away. It's a bit hard to see. And it should um, just go over that well bead just that little bit. 